Hey Facebook friends! So here I am in my laundry room doing clothes and I thought I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys a little bit about um, is your wash machine actually making your clothes dirtier? Um, so about four years ago I started having this problem where once in a while I do a load of clothes and my clothes um, would smell like a wet, dirty dog after I got done washing them. I know, gross, right? And so I was like, I didn't know what on earth was going on, why this was happening. And shortly after that, um, I was hanging out a load of clothes, and I saw a piece of gray stuff on one of the clothes, and so I went to wipe it off, thinking it was just you know a little lint or something on there. And when I went to wipe it off, it was like slimy. It felt almost like wet clay. It was really like greasy, slimy, sticky, um, really gross. So I didn't know what was going on. So I have a friend who owns a laundromat. So I called her, said, what on earth is going on? And she said, do you use liquid laundry detergent? And I was like, yeah. And, and she said, the liquid laundry detergent will build up, you know how you get scope, soap scum build up in your um, bathtub? It will build up soap scum in the bottom of your wash machine and your pump cannot pump that out. And so every time you go to wash clothes, it actually, hey Andrea, glad you're on here. Um, it actually is storing all that soap scum in the bottom and so when you fill your tub up with water, it floats back up and mixes with your clothes. Really gross, right? So she said, you need to change to a uh, powder detergent. Well, at that same time, I was having a lot of friends who were making their own laundry detergent. And someone said, you should really just make your own. You know, it's so simple and it lasts for such a long time. So I was like, all right. So I started um, to make my own laundry detergent. First of all, I didn't like the um, soap bar that they were using as a base. It was just a lot of bad ingredients in it. So I went and switched to um, a, um, a more natural based soap bar for making my detergents and quickly started having the same problem. So I've done everything. I mean, I've done the whole soap nuts thing, you know, um, do not like how my clothes turn out after doing soap nuts. Um, and I've got really hard water. So I was like, what on earth am I going to do? So I did a whole bunch of research and um, eventually decided to go with Charlie's soap. It's really, really simple. Um, if I remember correctly, I think there's only, yeah, three ingredients in here. So very Pretty simple, not a whole pile of ingredients in there. And they have the laundry powder, and it actually, it's amazing, it actually says on the back of it, it says if you haven't ever used this detergent before, to wash your wash machine before starting, because it's going to break down all that soap scum. Um, and it, it, you know, talks to you about that right on the back which I love. Also, we have really hard water, like I said. Um, so they have uh, a booster for, for hard water treatment. And also they have, you know, a, a oxygen uh, bleach, which having a new baby, you know, all those poop stains on baby clothes, it happens. That is really helpful. But I wanted to show you, actually, the reason I decided to do this video is because I got a formerly um, owned quilt um, and I went to wash it. No big deal, right? So I went to wash it and what do you know what came out of the inside of it? I have a whole pile. I'm trying to get it out so you can see it. Such a big quilt. but there is a whole pile of gray scum on it. I don't think you can see it. But if I peel it off, it smells just like Tide detergent. And it's like tacky and scummy. 
Um, I've actually not just washed this once, I've actually washed this quilt four times now. And I'm still pulling up more and more and more scum out of the quilt. Um, so, you know, it builds up in your clothes. We actually, my husband was having problems where his clothes were starting to look really dingy. He wears white t-shirts um, for landscaping in the summer and his white shirts were starting to look uh, almost a yellowish brown um, partially because of our hard water and all the iron in it but also because of all the soap scum buildup and like our sheets were feeling like sticky um, when you'd lay on them and it was all just buildup of soap scum. So if you use a liquid detergent, please, please, please throw it away and get something that is not going to build up in your washing machine. Like I said, I really, really love Charlie's soap. It's simple, it's basic, and it gets your wash machine cleaned. Like I was at a friend's house um, washing clothes because my wash machine wasn't working. And after three loads, their wash machine was all shiny and pretty uh, because it had broken down all that soap scum buildup. So, um, wonderful soap, and you don't want to have those yucky um, liquid detergents. Not only are they building up soap scum, but also, you know, they've got a lot of chemicals and fragrances in them that you don't need and really are not good for your body. So, just want to share with you guys. Hope you guys have a fabulous evening. Take care.